Oh, this is this is Sea Wall Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to throw out this very quick video because I think people are owed this because um, you won't get it anywhere else in the media. Here are just a few headlines that were brought out uh, by the True News people uh, in a long broadcast. I just want to do this uh, rapid fire uh, so that you get some context because you'll never get this in the mainstream media or you won't get the context uh, of this in the um, in, in, in the mass media. Okay so uh, first of all this is from the Wall Street, oh, well it was from the Wall Street Journal, um, a million mortgage borrowers fall through the COVID-19 uh, safety net. So um, the number of mortgages in coronavirus bailout program jumps to 21,000 after declining for uh, six straight weeks. Perhaps at this juncture, I could just mention an anecdote that was told by Rick Wales from someone he knows in Florida. Uh, they um, had sort of technically defaulted on their payments uh, of their mortgage and they were going to get in uh, someone to help them pay. Then when the bank found out about this, uh, they said, no, you can't do that because the very day um, that the regulations end will be, um, uh, will be, um, be putting you in foreclosure. So that, uh, that's just one anecdote, but I'm sure that's replicated many, many times. Uh, and this is a graph of all the active uh, forbearance uh, programs. That upper line is is the total, um, and below that is um, some of the other things. But I think the point that is being made is uh, you've got all these um, programs that are happening. Um, of you know forbearance on mortgages and things, but the banks and the, and the lenders are um, kind of adding up the interest payments. And the moment that the government programs finish, then uh, people will be uh, faced with a huge bill and, of course, uh, foreclosure on their homes. Millions of Americans risk losing power and water as massive unpaid utility bills pile up. Uh, the number of past due auto loans is creeping up. And this is pretty amazing. Less than 11% uh, of people with federal uh, student debt are repaying their loans during COVID. Uh, so that means, uh, my, if my arithmetic is right, 89% are not repaying their loans. Uh, a wave of distressed real estate is on its way, says NAI's Jay Olshonsky from the uh, false Wall Street Journal commercial property foreclosures are poised to rise as COVID-19 lingers. And then in New York, Cuomo extends commercial eviction moratorium until October the 20th. And uh, Nick, uh, uh, Rick Wiles uh, announced this book that's come out uh, about the uh, COVID-19 reset. And he just, he just um, reminded us of just how long it takes to write a book and to get it published and printed and get it out. 